to use a C program to generate files. Okay. Now remember this. This is not being a uh, horrible. What is the mean of being horrible? If you have an infinite loop and you are playing with a file in out. Okay. Not in in is okay. Okay. In mean reading reading content. Out means a uh, writing content. If you have an infinite loop, writing things to a file. Okay. Then you will uh, generate files of separate gigabyte. Okay. If you don't stop it. Okay, then you will uh, consume all your disk space. Okay, so this is a start going to be a, a little bit dangerous. Okay, uh, because uh, when you find it, oh, I cannot, I can, I, I, I suddenly don't don't find any disk space. Okay, that means that you create such kind of file. Okay, so later on I will show you how. Very uh, easy. So uh, for the introduction, uh, I, not not I. Okay, but uh, for the, for the project sake, okay, I don't want to disturb. You and your DVD are lost in your because file I/O okay contains many things. We can write characters, we can write a string, we can write all kind of things. But uh, we start with the not the basic one numbers, okay? So you will find a, a new concept called opening a file and closing a file. Uh, in a in the first programming course I take okay around um, how many years? With uh, ten, uh, I mean uh, more than that case okay. I I always puzzle with one thing. What is the meaning of open? Why we need open? Huh? Okay. So uh, let me tell you what it says. Okay. So I, I already explained to you that uh, uh, this this thing. Okay. Input output. Okay. Input means that okay you put the data inside a file. Then you ask the program to pull those data out. Okay. Output is to write data to a file, and a file is a. Uh, I will say that in your level, okay, in your level now, you have to treat a file as a first in, first out resource. So what is first in, first out? You write one byte, okay? Uh, let, me, let me use a pen. The word is first in, first out. Say you, you, you write one number called five, okay? And then you write the next number six. The next number is 12. The last number is zero. Okay, like this. So you write to the file. What is the meaning of first in, first out? So this is the first in, first out. Five o. First in, first out uh, uh, method in writing. That means that once you input, so it is input, input to a file like this. Next time you save this file and try to uh, revisit the content, you want to read it out now. So you want to read out, read them. Then you you will first find five and six and then twelve and then zero and nothing more. Okay, so this is what I call a FIO. Okay, of course there is there are ways that uh, you treat a file in an other form. Okay, but we start with basic. We treat it as an FIO uh, FIO resource. Remember, okay. So what is the meaning of open? Okay. Open means that uh, you will uh, create a resource, create a variable that point to the file, okay? And later I will explain to you more why we need open, okay? But uh, if, if you really, really, really want to know the, the meaning behind open, okay, you need the operating system course, okay? So I, I take my course, uh, it's a CSC I 50 okay? Yeah, I, I, I just started the, the file, sy file system chapter, you can, you can see it if you want. Okay, so it's about open. Then open is to create a resource, and to create a resource, point to the the data inside the hard disk. Okay, I I would say in that way, or not hard disk or USB drive. Okay, basically you can open anything, uh, CD-ROM files, uh, USB drive, hard disk, so and so forth, and then you will start reading and writing. Okay, now let's say for example you point to a USB drive. Okay, then you will you start reading. And also you can write things in. Now what if you point to a CD-ROM? Okay, you open a file inside a CD-ROM. You can still read it, but you cannot write it. No? Do you understand? You can see ROM. Do you know that CD-ROM is read only? Okay, or or nowadays computers don't have CD-ROM, but this this does not have one, right? The Mac machine don't have a CD-ROM now. Okay, CD-ROM is outdated, okay? Um, yeah, maybe we Stay back with a uh, USB drive, okay? Then uh, you can uh, oh still keep on uh, reading, writing, reading, writing, okay? 
So how to open it, later I will tell you. Basically, you specify the file path, and then you can open the file. No problem, OK? Then while you have the open, you can start reading and writing. Now I don't want you to uh, open it anymore, OK? I want you to save all the things in the hard disk. So uh, the safest way is to call close, OK? You can close the file, and uh, operating system know that, OK, you don't want this resource anymore. I will save all the things in the hard disk. Okay. So, in terms of program, we have something like this. Now, let's let me uh, point out some ingredients that you never seen before. First, line four. Line four is the first ingredient that you never seen before, uh, which is very strange. Okay, how strange is this? The data type. Look at the name of the data type. All start with capital letter. Okay, this is the first time. Yeah, let's say int is a small int, right? But this file, F-I-L-E, all with a capital letter, this is a resource, okay, used to point to a file which is opened by you, okay? So here, with an asterisk, okay, so let me type it in my computer, okay? So let's say that I create a data file first. I forgot to create a data file. Let's name this data file, uh, Okay, I can launch test set it here. No. Okay. Uh, maybe I. I don't want to use use something that you don't know. Okay. Good. So a uh, data file. Let's call the data file uh, with the content right in the board. Five, six, twelve, oh, twelve, and then zero. Okay. Then I save it. Okay. Uh, you can call it data.txt. Okay. Uh, Usually, when I type in test file, okay, uh, this five six twelve zero are all text, plain text. So I usually save it, call it uh, with uh, extension .txt, okay. So, but but in Mac, okay, um, unlike Windows, Windows are stay with the .txt extension, okay. They will uh, open the correct program for you. Mac, okay, the extension is not uh, it's not important, okay. So uh, I have written a file called this. Um, data.txt. Now, if I try to uh, open a resource, point to that data.txt, I need this file, OK? But in the lecture notes, you find a, find a something more, OK? You find an asterisk here, OK, asterisk. So this asterisk, I cannot explain to you now, OK? I can only explain to you around uh, week 12 or week, week uh, 13, what is this, OK? So basically, you have to remember this. There is an asterisk, OK? So after asterisk is the name, OK? The resource, OK? I want to have a resource. Let's say I call it resource, OK? Now, whether this asterisk has a space here or don't have a space here, it's not important, OK? It's not important. So how to read this? It means this file with this asterisk together is actually the type, okay? This is a C. C has something special like this, okay? This together we we define a new type, okay? And this is usually point uh, with this file is point to a file type, okay? Then how to open a file? So let's refer to it. Uh, open. We have a f open here, so it means a file open. You name that file called data.txt, okay? And you can choose what is the opening mode here. OK, R means open it as read only. OK, so uh, I do the same things. So I just name it called resource. Now, I just type resource. I don't type asterisk resource, no. OK, asterisk is not a part of the name. OK, it is not a part of the name. So I type it like this. So F open, data.txt, read only. Read only access mode. Okay, so what is the meaning of a uh, typing like this? It means it will look at the current directory, the folder that this program contains. Okay, it look at that folder and check whether this folder has data.txt. Okay, of course you can type something like this, like uh, in in C. Okay, a C drive. Okay. Yeah, uh, I, I, I just, just, just type this, okay? So C colon slash, okay? Then you can go to C drive. Okay, of course, I know that it's not, not this branch, it's this test, okay? 
So for, for Windows, it's a backslash. So C colon backslash, data.txt, then you can open a C plot. And if it is your Mac machine, Mac machine has a uh, different things, so I don't want to show Mac. Uh, later I will show it. Now, after I open it, okay, so we will create this resource, okay? If this resource point to a better file, okay, it will allow you to have the read write, okay? So, previously we have already had known that there is a call called scanf, right? So I need an integer. Okay, so remember scanf is to read things from the keyboard. Okay, it's only for keyboard. Now I open a new resource called resource now. I don't want to read numbers from keyboards anymore. I want to read numbers from this data.txt. So how to read it? The step is very similar. Very, very similar. Okay. From scanf, okay, because it's related to file now, I use f scanf. File scanf file type scanf. Then you need to specify the file. Don't type data.txt here. Okay? No, this is wrong. Okay? You should type the resource. Okay? So you already pointed the resource opening the data.txt, so you specify the resource name here. Okay? Now to check whether I take a good number or not, I will try to print out to the screen. Okay, I just use normal green F. Oops, wow. I missed one thing here, okay. So, no problem, right? I just uh, changed scan F into F scan F. Previously, I scanned from keyboard. Now I scan from a file. Now what will happen? Remember what is, a t what is a data inside? The data inside is a 5, 6, 12, 0. 5, 6, 12, 0. Now, I will compile this program. Okay, it won't complain. Now I will compile this program. Now you should expect that it's 56120. The first scan F I will read 5. Okay, I read 5. Now what happened if I if I do something like this? Copy and paste. Okay, I have twice. I read the number two, read two numbers. So what will happen? Because this is a, it, it read as an F I four manner. So first in first out, I input this, I input this, I input that in, in the file. So when the file start being read from your program, it will first locate this number, okay. And after it's find that okay, you already read this number, it will read the next number six. Now let's see. Ah, okay. Nice, huh? So it will be a 5, 6, 12, 0, all the way down. Now, how can we know that we already take out all numbers? Okay? So let's see. Let's say I use a wow loop, okay? I'm a bad guy, I use wow one, okay? I use wow one loop, okay? So what will happen? Will this program stop by itself? So after I read one number, two number, three numbers, four numbers, and then it's because that there is no fifth number in the file, will the program dies immediately after I, oh, because I'm going wow one. Wait, do you know what is wow one? Wow true loop, infinite loop, okay? So you will start from a reading five, and then six, and then 12, and then zero, right? But no fifth number. So what will happen to the program if I cannot find a fifth number? Let's see it. Huh? So this is a very common mistake that uh, uh, junior programmer will, you know, junior, I mean students, okay? The first time programmer, okay, will, will encounter. Now it's going to be horrible. So I will uh, type enter and immediately type control C. So what is that? Wow. I cannot go back to the front. I, it's going to be too fast, okay? So I, I have to do some tricks that I never saw you before. Sleep for one second. Okay. So then you understand what I'm doing. Ah yeah. Just keep on complaining. Yeah. So there's something that you do need to know about sleep, okay? 
Yeah, basically it's very interesting. Huh? So five, and then six, and then 12, and then zero, finish. Then, but basically I do have the fifth number, sixth number, it continue repeating the last guy. So basically what, what is going on? What is going on? Okay, now let me do some uh, verification. What if I have a fifth number? And uh, let's say it's called not called zero, let's call it nine. Okay, I have a fifth number. And then five, six, twelve, zero, nine. And then, uh, you keep on repeating nine. Right? Right? So can I determine that, okay, in a program, let's say, if this program tell me that, ah, it keep on repeating what I see before, okay? That's just like what happened, okay? Can I put a condition in a while loop saying that, oh, if it is going to happen, I will quit this while loop. Basically, you cannot do this. You cannot do this. Because that's what, what happened if, if inside the file there is a, really a, a stream of nines or a stream of zeros. Okay, so how to stop this program? Okay, there is a way, and the way is very hidden. I mean, a hidden in the in the sense that something that we didn't tell you before. Okay, so I let me remove the sleep first. Uh, the thing that I didn't tell you before is scanf has return value. Okay, I never tell you before. Scanf has return value. Okay, what is the meaning of a scanf has return value? Scanf will tell you whether it success or not. Okay? And also F scanf behaves like this. So let copy the return value first. So I will say that uh, for it return value. Okay. So return value equal to F scanf. Okay. And of course I want to uh, verify the return value, so I'll print it out. Print out the return value. So second number is the return value of S -scan F scan F. And remember it's very old. I should put a slip here. Okay, slip for one second. Okay, then make, no problem, we won't complain, okay? So let's check what is going on after the F scan F gives you return value. So the first return value is one, also one, also one, and then another one, and then it will put something different. Okay, it report minus one. Okay, so what is this? What does that mean? That means that it is an error condition. Okay, F scan F find an error. Okay, or scan F also do this. Okay, scan F find that oh your keyboard don't have a further input, so we will also give you some error conditions. So this is an error condition. Okay, now then we know how to stop my program, right? I I know how to stop. Basically, you, you wish to stop this program is to check, or I, I do the reverse thing. I want to continue the loop. Then I will check whether return value is one or not. Okay, if it's one, I will continue. I will continue to, to read the numbers, okay? So let's, let's do this. Uh, maybe I just, uh, I do this first. So I assume that this is one, okay, so that uh, I can I can do the first loop. So I want to continue the loop if the return value is one. Okay? And then I'll keep on checking oh, whether you're one or not. Okay? And when suddenly it's not one, so that means that uh, the end of the file is rich. Then I can uh, safely reach here. Let's put the nine here, say goodbye. Say goodbye, okay? Okay? Then do the compilation, no problem. So five, six, 12, zero, nine, and nine is minus one, so that I will quit, okay? But this is not nice, right? I don't want to have a, have a minus one pop up, okay? So ugly, yeah? So I put one more condition here. If return value is one, then I will print, print what I want, okay? Make. And then again, five, six, twelve, zero, and then nine, and then boom, quit. Okay? So, reading a file is not simple, right? Because 
Unlike the keyboard, okay, keyboard uh, usually you can attach uh, as long as your program is still there, you can continue to type again, again, and again. But file has a finite, finite length like this. Okay, I type in five lines, then it will only provide you five lines of data. So you have to determine when is that. Okay. So refer back to the notes. Okay, where can you find these components? So let's do it uh, piece by piece. Uh, in scanf, okay, or in f scanf, you know that in scanf you can put a two percent b here, right? To means that uh, you have you want to take out two numbers, okay? So how about f scanf? Can it? Can we do that? Can we do that? So uh, let me first comment on this, okay? Let's comment on this and try to uh, f scanf the resource file, the file resource, and 2 percent D. Okay, let's uh, have one more number. Uh, let's call it an N and an M. Okay. M first and then N. Good. So if it's okay, I can uh, print it out. M N. Okay, so what will F can, F can F tell you if we do this, okay? In previous lab exercise, you have tried this. If you put 2% in here, you can read two numbers. Now for files. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh it's just complaint that uh, the, the return value is not used, okay? No problem. Run. So it takes out 5 and 6, so it will be the first two numbers, okay? So it's just follow the FI4 properties, so it will uh, have this uh, number first and then take another numbers. Now, how about the return value? How about the return value of this uh, f scan f? So I will get the last number to be the return value. Okay. So remember, f scan f return value is very important. Now I read it and print it out. No problem. So what's the return value? Now it's two. Okay. So what is the meaning here? It means that, well, basically f scan f is a very tricky uh, function. The function first give you data, and then report to you that how many data is successfully read from the file. Okay. Previously, you see you see one, right? In my previous implementation, you see one because, okay. So let me uncomment here, okay, because this line. I have only one percent D. So basically you want one data. So it returned one. Tell you that oh I successfully read one data for you. Okay? Now my new implementation following the lecture notes. The new implementation I have two percent D. Okay? So the two percent D means that uh, you want two pieces of data. So the return value will say that I successfully read two pieces of data, so give you two. Okay? So this is something new that I didn't tell you before in the previous lecture. So scanf also behaves like this. Scanf, if you read two numbers, okay, the scanf will return two. Okay, but uh, for keyboard usage, you never check the return value. Now, what is this code here? Okay, this code declare you want to close the file. Okay, you want to close the file. Now, after you close the file, then you cannot use the file anymore. Okay, so, let me show you what will happen if I close the file. F close, resource. Oh yeah, resource. So to close the file is very simple. You don't need any strict extra things. You don't need to put down or data data.txt and then read only mode. No, you just put down the the resource. Okay, the resource name. Then compile and run. So it's just a behave normally, okay? But after I close the file, okay, whether I can reassess the file or not, okay? Let's check. So I do a copy and paste here, copy these two lines. And I want to reassess the file content, okay? After I close it. Now this is dangerous. Let me show you what will happen. Make, no problem, go.
So what is the meaning here? Before, we have two numbers, 5 and 6. Now we still have 12 and 0. If I didn't close the file, we will read 12 and 0. Now because I close the file, okay, the scan, F scan F call knows that you point to an invalid resource. So it reports to you the return value reports minus 1, telling you that I failed to read anything. Okay, I failed to read anything. This is the last number is the return value. Okay, so remember this. Never reassess the file after you close it. Okay. Now one another another demonstration. What happened if I do this? Okay. So I read two numbers first and close the file and then reopen it and get two numbers again. And I, I don't close it, okay, because the program dies. I don't need to close it now. So what will happen? Make? No problem. Now, let's, let's do a guess. Will I have 5, 6, and then 12, 0, or 5, 6, twice? Which will vote for the first choice? I read 5, 6, and then 12, 0. Then we'll vote for the second choice. That means the 5, 6, and then another 5, 6. We'll vote for the second choice. And you, 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 okay. So a few of you, others don't know. So let's do it. So it means I reopen the resource. I first close the resource. The resource is removed from my, from my program. Now I request it to come back. Now after I request it to come back, remember this, all previous state status will be gone. Okay, previous status means that I finished reading these two. I suppose I will start my next reading from 12. Now I close it and reopen it means that I, I just have a brainwash. Okay, I forgot everything, reopen it, and I continue to read. No, I will reposition my start position from to the first number and then 5 and 6. Okay, now this is file reading. It's file reading. Now let's refer back to the Natural looks, natural looks uh, also have this kind of components. So F close and then, so it have explanations here. Okay, uh, the, the natural looks give you one more choice of over uh, the checking of the resource. Okay, the resource is, is just a give a first thing to them called FPTR. Okay, I don't, I don't like this. I usually call it resource, okay. So what is the meaning here? The meaning here is that uh, if I fail to open a file, Okay, basically this uh, resource will be have a new value called null, N-U-L-L. -L. Okay, so let me try. Okay, so I don't need this bunch of things. I just copy it later. So I will check whether this is null. Okay, if this is null, it means that I cannot open the file. Okay. Else means that I can open it. Okay. So for the first uh, condition, I will have the else part executed. For the first test here, make I, I this is complaint that I, I don't use the variable. Don't worry. Okay. So I it said I can open. Now what if I spell it wrong. Okay. I miss a dot there. Okay. So I miss a dot. Then let me say this is another file, right? So I miss a dot. So what will happen? Make file. Okay. No. It's just a bunch of our uh, our warning. I know what I commented. Okay. And it, it won't complain anymore. Okay. Good. Run. It will tell you that. I cannot open it, okay? Because it's spell wrong file name, okay? The file name is wrong. So you cannot open it. It won't fix your bug, okay? You said that you want a data file called data txt, okay? But not data dot txt, okay? So wrong file name, it will uh, have a problem. Uh, in Windows, uh, usually it's because of wrong file name. In Mac machines, we have more, okay? We have uh, another type of errors called uh, 
uh, permission denied. Okay, we met. We can set the permission. I uh, Windows the permission sucks. Okay, I mean, uh, you can always override it. Okay, so uh, I I I don't teach you how to detect uh, what is the uh, error. Now we know that this is uh, the 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 condition that I cannot open it. Uh, basically, you don't you don't need it in your project because we have a hard code file name. We we usually call it uh, or fixed name called map.txt. Okay. Now here is just uh, some extra information for you. And what is this code here? This code, I guess, this is the first time that you see uh, throughout this nine weeks. Okay. This code, okay, if you want to uh, call it, you need to have this line. Include standard library. Which it's called sta STDB standard library. It's called standard library if you want to use it. What is this? This is just a uh, very similar to return. Okay? It means terminate the program at this point. Okay? Exceed one. Uh, usually you can type in uh, any kind of numbers. Okay? For our just system, just system, please write down exit zero. Okay? In this natural system for our system. Okay? So, for just system to type exit zero, then when you execute this line, it will immediately terminate the program what, when, whatever where you are. Okay? Just terminate the program. Very useful in our project. Okay, our project suddenly they okay. I say some lines, okay, I said that oh, there is a quick command, okay. I find your quick command immediately terminate the program. Or you find that your game is just game over, okay? You you just open up a, a, a box containing a bomb, okay, then oh immediately terminate the program. Then this exit call is extremely important for you. Remember. Okay? So the F scan F I told you. Uh, the format is uh, I, I need to have a file resource, okay, as well as a format, just like the scanf. Okay, oh, by the way, there is a constant EOF, but that I don't want to tell you about this, okay? I mean, uh, how can I explain to you? This EOF, okay, called end of file, end of file is not trustworthy, okay? Yeah, even though it's being recorded, I would say it's not trustworthy. It depends on how you use it. Okay, so I, I don't teach you anything over this. Okay, so if later later courses, okay, the lecturer or the professor asks you, do you know what is EOF? You will say that mm, I don't know. Please tell us. Okay, yeah. Remember, very hard to. Uh, I mean, not very hard. I mean, uh, you have to very, have a very clear concept. Okay, so uh, we go to the next example that I already show you. Okay, the next example is I want you have a while one loop, okay, to scan data line by line. Okay? Just like what I have before. We have a line by line here, line by line file here. The objective is to uh, uh, read them all and print it out. Okay? So the program is just work as what I have told you, right? You have to check the return value of F scan F but I I do some change, I save it in the variable, the return value, and check the variables. But now here it's just directly check whether it's is a one or not. Okay? So it's just the same as what I showed. Any problem? Do you want to ask any problem? Do you want me to try something? If no, later I will I will go to the file writing part. No? Okay, good. So and another uh, reading, okay, basically you can uh, read the numbers uh, using percent D, you can also use percent LF to read point point number. Yeah, there's no, nothing special, right? Just uh, either percent D or percent LF. Okay, so then you will have a uh, specified specif specif format whether it's percent LF or not. But because you read three numbers, so you check whether you should stop the program. Now the condition change is to check whether it's still free or not. Okay, I already explained to you that if you read two numbers, okay, then F scan F successfully read these two numbers, it will return two. If you ask for one number, if it's successful, it will return one. Now you ask for three numbers or three items, although it's uh, of different types, okay, three items, then it will tell you it's successful with the return value free. Okay? No problem? Really no problem. Strange. Okay. Why why no one asks for we return two? We will return one. No one asks, huh? Always free? Mm. Yes or no? Let me show you. No one asks this question. Huh? 
if I if I really put it into examination, you will you will all be KO. Okay. So let's do it, huh? Let's let's try to do this, okay? To see whether this call, okay, will return me only free or not, okay? I will need to uh, tune a bit over the data file. So what is the mean of tune a bit over the data file? Now the data file, let's say I have a, I make it nice, okay, one, two, three, three, four, five, okay, or eight and nine, okay? So I format it into this way, okay? I will change a bit, I don't use a percent LF, I will always use percent D. Now I will do this, I will have a loop, the loop first iteration, I will ask for three numbers. I will ask for three numbers. So it will successfully give me one, two, three. Okay? Then another call of the same F, scan F, because I'm doing a loop. So it will get three, four, five. The last call only contains two numbers. But my format is three numbers. What will happen? Okay? So. Make sure you are following me. Uh, it's a very important thing. <coughs> return value. Of course, I need to return value. I will have three variables called ABC because I prepared to read in read out uh, three things from a file. So I will open it. It's called data.txt. Read only mode. Okay. Then I will have a while one loop. Oh, maybe not while one loop. I will use a. We is equal to three. Okay. So because I want to end the loop, I set it to three. Then return value is equal to f scan f. What is the resource here? And then type your format percent d percent d percent d. Okay. And a and b and c. Okay, so I finished reading it. Now I'll print them all. Print of percent D, percent D, percent D. Uh, I also have the return value. So I add a black cat here. So this is going to be the return value. That's A, B, C, and return value. Okay? So suppose I will read three values and then another three values. The last line of the format is wrong, okay? The last line is the format is, I only have two numbers in the last line. So what will happen? That is very important, I tell you, okay? Make, of course, no problem, because it's, it's don't know about the data. Let's go. What is the return value of the last line? Okay, so F scan F is is more clever, it's very clever than you can imagine. How clever it is? Or scan F, scan F is just behave the same. You want three numbers in a format, but data available only two. Okay, the data available only two. What it will do is help you as far as possible. Okay, you want three numbers. Okay, I only have two, I give it two. Okay, I surrender the last guy. Okay, surrender the last guy and how to tell you that it already surrendered about the last guy. It tells you that it is not returning three numbers. I successfully read two. Okay, without the last one. Now to verify that, how about I change it? The last line of the data file one, two, three, four, three, four, five, and the last number, last line is only one number. So we return one. I don't I don't need to compile because I just change the data file. Yes, it gives you one. Okay, but how about these two numbers? Because the read is failed. The read is failed. So it's copy the previous value here. This means it doesn't change. Okay, this is A B C variable. So the B and C previously is four and five. So because it's read is fail, so we keep the old value. Okay? So how about I make it back to a nice look here? So it's just a eight nine ten. Then if we tell you eight nine ten, 
and finish the call. And because the return value is free, you will loop again. Now, no any data available now, so you will find the return value is minus one, and the previous last last three numbers are still there because the ABC variable is not able to be updated. No data available anymore. Okay? So now you can make make very clear that F scan F is very clever. You specify a list of numbers that you want, it will tell you how many successful attempts. Hey, this is a set of attempt that maybe uh, you want three. I only successfully get two. It tells you two. Okay? So that return, of return value now becomes very important. Very, very important. Okay? It should determine how many numbers you, you can read from the file. Because this is a, this is a very important thing for you to debug. Okay? Like, uh, oh, you accidentally uh, create a wrong data file. Then you didn't check the return value. And the data file is just a corrupted or wrong, then you will have a wrong computation. Okay? So this is F scan F. Wow. Okay? So let's have a break. After the break, we will talk about another thing. F pre F. Okay? F pre F is interesting, huh? Okay? Because this is the the trick to your to run out all your display.